I am not Morgan Freeman. Artificial intelligence. It's now pretty much smarter than humans. My belief is that all repetitive human work, that will all be done in the next couple of decades, better, cheaper, faster by AI. Humans are pretty amazing, right? But what if there was a machine that was at least as good as the best of humans in almost everything? In the last video, we spoke about the need to be AGI ready. And if we don't, we are all doomed. But what are we getting ready for? AGI? What the hell is this AGI? We first need to define what is AGI and understand it. But the irony is that nobody, nobody really knows what exactly is AGI. Well, people kind of have an idea of what an AGI system should look like, but there isn't really a 100% consensus on how smart the AI should become to be classified as AGI. There is also no consensus on when the AGI will arrive, whether it's gonna be two years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, or maybe 100 years. But, 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 there is 100% consensus that the AGI will arrive sooner than later. But hang on, by the end of this video, you will have a clear idea of what an AGI system can do. I will explain you this term in the simplest possible way, and you will know AGI better than the 90% of the humanity. At your next party, you will be the coolest person in the room to talk to. This is nice, very nice. Oh, okay. So the world of AI can be classified into two categories, weak AI and strong AI. Now, what is weak AI? Well, pretty much everything everything that you have seen till now, including the likes of ChatGPT, Midjourney, Google Gemini, everything is freaking weak AI. AGI, whenever it's realized, will be the very first strong AI. In fact, when we speak about strong AI, we are technically speaking about AGI. Now, let's get into the details of why everything that we have till now is classified as weak AI and how it differs from a strong AI. There is another term for weak AI and that is narrow AI. It's called narrow AI because of its focus on a narrow set of tasks it can do. Don't get me wrong. These weak AIs can be really strong in the narrow set of tasks that they have been designed for, but they suck at everything else. For example, IBM's DeepMind was able to beat the world champion Gary Kasparov at chess back in 1997. It was at superhuman level at chess, but it would have failed miserably at any other task. For example, playing Mario. Some other examples being DeepMind's AlphaGo beating world champion Lee Sedol in 2016. DeepMind's AlphaStar AI defeated professional StarCraft II players in 2019. Several AI programs have achieved superhuman performance in various poker formats. I know, I know what you're thinking. You want to argue that AI systems like ChatGPT are not narrow AI. They are good at multiple things, right? They can write poems. They can write Python codes. They can even summarize scientific papers. They can do homework for your kids. So how are they narrow? So yes, the narrow band has widened. In fact, researchers have been trying to widen this narrow band AI system can be good at, but it's still not wide enough. In fact, it's far, 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 far from being classified as a strong AI. Okay. Uh, I'm going to shamelessly read the next part because it's way too much to remember. So, they are considered weak AI because they simulate the understanding and creativity based on patterns in their training data rather than genuine comprehensions or general intelligence. I'm pretty sure now it's clear, right? Yeah. 
fuck this world okay let's try again so chat gpt is still considered narrow ai or weak ai because for every task that it's good at you can think of 100 other tasks that it sucks at for example they still suck at math they only work with text data they are frozen in time till their last training data they can't cook your dinner and most importantly they can't train themselves they can't improve themselves they can't learn new tasks without human interventions while they are close to human level at some tasks they are far from human level at everything else the key word here is human level at everything now that is one way of defining AGI a very simplistic definition but a good starting point AGI stands for artificial general intelligence and as per wikipedia artificial general intelligence is a type of artificial intelligence that can perform as well or better than humans on a wide range of cognitive tasks as opposed to narrow ai which is designed for specific tasks it is one of the various definitions of strong ai fuck even wikipedia is not sure what it is it says it's one of many definitions we are not getting anywhere, looks like. Let's try again. Imagine an AI system that is as good as human, at least as good as human at almost everything. That is AGI. So if AGI is playing tennis, it will be as good as, say, Rafa, Federer, or Novak. If it's playing cricket, it will be as good as Kohli or Bumrah. If it's acting as a lawyer, it will be as good as the best lawyer out there. If it's a neurosurgeon, it will be on par with the best one. If it's a philosopher, it will be as good as the best one. It will be the best teacher, the best novelist, the best dentist, the best politician. The catch here is that it can be good at all of these things at once. Unlike humans who are great in their area of specialization but suck or their average in other fields. Moreover, if a new task or a new challenge is presented to the AGI system that it has never seen before, it will still be able to learn and do the new task without any human intervention. Now we will understand this with a simple example. Okay. Imagine you having a robo helper at your home, the likes that you have seen in sci-fi movies. Now, this robo helper has been able to do all the tasks at your home. It can cook, it can clean, it can read books to your kids, it can even give you company while watching a movie. Now, you shift it to a countryside home, a big house with a big garden. Now that you have a big garden, you must do gardening and you also brought in a dog. Why not? Your robo helper was never trained to do gardening or say walk a dog. Now it has been presented with these two new challenges, new tasks. It has to do gardening because you have a garden and it has to walk the dog because now you have a dog. Now, there are two ways of handling this. You can send your robot to the factory from where it came from for you know, new training, new data. Now, if this robot helper is an AGI system, you wouldn't have to send this robot to the factory for retraining. It will be able to learn these two new set of tasks without any human interventions on its own and be as good, at least as good as the best human dog walker or the best human gardener. It can learn by either observing people around it doing the same task or maybe watching on TV how to do gardening, same as a human would learn. This is one set of characteristics. Moreover, an AGI system should be able to demonstrate full set of cognitive skills, at least on par with humans. While humans have a wide range of cognitive skills, they can be classified by and large into these six groups. Don't worry, we will understand this with a simple story. Imagine you are on a camping trip with your friends in the mountains. You see a beautiful waterfall in the distance. You hear the rushing water. You feel the cool air on your skin and smell the fresh pine trees. That's perception. You remember past camping trips where you learned that waterfalls can be slippery. That's learning. Using this knowledge, you decided to take a careful approach to get a closer look. That's reasoning. As you get closer, the ground looks wet and mossy. 
you judge that it might be too risky to get too close. That's judging. Now you weigh the options, whether to admire the view from far or risk a potential slip to get a closer picture. That's evaluation. You capture some amazing photos from safe distance and remember this experience for future trips. That's remembering. I hope the six cognitive skills that an AGI system should possess are clear. Some researchers also argue that an AGI system should be sentient or have consciousness. That is, they should be able to feel and experience the world around them like we humans do. And they should have a broad range of emotions like love, hate, happy, sad, etc. But that's not the majority view. And we anyway do not know how to measure sentience or consciousness. So there you go. An AGI system is an AI that is as good as human on almost every task and can have most of the human properties just short of being sentience or conscious. That brings us to the next important question. When is it coming? Truth is, nobody really knows for sure. Some experts believe it's just around the corner while others believe it's still decades away. The most interesting answer that I have heard about when AGI is coming is that we will know it has arrived when it has arrived. If you still want to know about it before others, hit the like and subscribe button below. Trust me. Now, go to your next party and be the coolest guy. The AI guy who knows it all. Best of luck. Jao Machado! If you want to become even cooler, watch this video where I explain the 7 stages of AI and where we are right now. See you in the next one.